the cube press. All right, for those of you who don't use a cube or whatever, anything like that, uh, it's basically like a, like a pause press, okay, or a block press. I'm gonna put this here on my chest and this will be my stopping point. I kinda have to pause here. So I'm just gonna go for some uh, four by fives. Um, I kinda already hit my sets in between, so I did 275 for five, all, uh, 240, 245 for eight, and then 225 for, uh, for 10. And I just kept going down from there. Uh, so, but I'm going to do these uh, 225 for fives, um, just with the cube. I'm just going to get a little, little bit of a little bit of explosive power uh, from a from a stop position off the chest. All right. So I'm going to go with a nice little wider grip. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> Should I hit this cube press again with the 275? We'll see if we can get we'll see if we can get two to three reps out of this one. Yeah, that second rep was harsh. All right, so I got 185 loaded up on the bar. All right, we're basically just going to talk about bench press right now, okay? How do you get your bench press stronger? How do you make it better, okay? A um, couple of different ways that I know is one, lifting heavy, lifting uh, um, a nice five by five, six by six, whatever. You want to you wanna move big weight fast, right? Okay, well, another thing that you could do, you could work on rack pulls from the rack, basically have a spotter behind you, uh, and you're basically gonna get a feel for what that weight feels like in your hands, right? I know some people are probably in the position, you're like, okay, I think you can do 225, but if you don't know what it feels like in your hands, when you go take it off the rack, you're like, ah, now you're gonna second judge it, right? Okay, so if you start doing rack pulls, just having a spotter with you, just you're basically just taking off, holding it up, right? Over your chest, okay? Racking it back, okay? And you do that for a few reps, so that way you can get used to the weight and know how that feels, okay? so. The 185, we're gonna go for some speed, okay? And I'm gonna show you my placement on my hands, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go a little wider in my stance. I, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, some of the bars I go in a little closer because I like to use my triceps a little bit more, but for this, since we're activating more chest, I wanna be out a little wider, okay? Chest up, roll your shoulder, excuse me, chest up, roll your shoulders back. Okay, your chest should be up. Got a nice little arch here. Feet tucked down. I'm gonna see how my wrists are rolled out. I'm gonna roll my wrist forward. Squeeze. I don't want that suicide grip on the outside of the bar here. Okay, we want that good squeeze here. Down. Push. Boom. Right here. Now I know some people are like, oh, you're not touching your chest. That's because I'm keeping full tension on at all times. All right, on top of you doing a bench press, right, and you want to get your chest stronger, get your chest bigger, okay, I would incorporate you doing some dumbbell work, isolated uh, or unilateral, you know, one side at a time, okay. Um, definitely incorporate your incline chest press as well, okay. Um, obviously, on top of other things is adding more tricep work um, and more shoulder work because you want shoulder stability, okay, upper back and traps because that's what you're using, okay to keep you stable for your bench press. Right. Right. Take these 85s for a ride.